Hi everyone, thank you very much for joining our series on the e-commerce and digital marketing mentoring program for MSME and our topic for this video is all about uh, social media calendar and scheduling. So since our topic is all about the social media calendar and scheduling, of course, we're looking at the calendar rather than just going through the usual uh, discussing what the calendar is all about and, and what can you do about it. What I decided to do is uh, make an app, make a case study. So technically, para bang, I, I know I have to do this for myself, pero siguro nga because of the hectic schedule last month, uh, going out of the country, and then this month, going around the country, medyo talagang nagagaho sa oras, no? So, parang, so pwede natin gamitin itong session na to as an opportunity to have this kind of discussion. So, here's the case study. So, uh, recently, I made an announcement that uh, I became an, uh, an independent executive director of the John Maxwell team. So, as an independent executive director of the John Maxwell team, parabang I have many resources at my disposal in terms of letting people know the things that uh, can be offered under the John Maxwell team, no? from professional development, the speaking club, the leadership assessment, life and business coaching, among others. So for this particular uh, topic, uh, since there's a lot of things that can be discussed, maybe what I would like to focus instead, and uh, for those of you who are connected to me, might have seen this as well, is the leadership game. No? So I've been featuring the leadership game uh, for quite some time now on my profile and uh, I've integrated this a lot in my activities although my sharing is more of sharing what I do rather than me pitching the game no so so ang gagawin ko ngayon um, I will I will uh, communicate this now from a social media calendar format now your social media calendar and scheduling you can look at it in two ways it depends on your function as a person. If you are an MSME, your posting on social media may not necessarily be for the sake of promotion alone. Maybe one of the reasons why you're doing it as well is because um, maybe you wanna you wanna book sales also in the process. So if your intention is to also book sales in the process, then your social media calendar and scheduling is not necessarily all about um posting on social media it can be different types of activities so let's modify the keys here to begin with okay so let's say uh what are the activities that any entrepreneur can do so let's say if i am a leadership game facilitator what are the things that i can do no so keys can be in the form of uh it depends on the legends that i would like to create it can be the products that i'm posting um, or it can be the type of posts that I am making, um, or it can be the type of activities that I that I'm posting. So for this purpose, so gagawin na lang natin. Um, so so natin dito. Uh, let's say email follow through. Okay, and then maybe this one is all about call, call back. Okay, and then um, answer queries okay and then maybe uh social media post and then pwede ko rin lagyan ng um pm private social media right pms because uh there's a difference in essence between the two. Social media PMs can be more casual, but you can be deliberate in that process. No? And then maybe if I am doing specific promotions, then I can be more specific. So halimbawa, let's call the leadership game LG, LGA for the adult edition. Leadership game standard. Huwag na lang natin siya tawagin standard. Tawagin na lang natin siyang adult. Then this one, leadership game. 
teams, leadership game, sales, leadership game, com. Okay? So, gumawa, gumawa ako ngayon ng mga, ano, so, so, ibig sabihin, if I am very specific by doing a post na leadership game, meaning, meaning, parang yun ang focus nung uh, content ko, no? And then, yung iba, parang mga specific activities that I would like to do, okay? So, ideally, if you, if you want to do your social media calendar and scheduling, Meron tayong tiyatawag na awareness post, consideration post, decision post. Awareness post can be you sharing value. And then when we talk about uh, consideration post, it can help a person um, decide whether this is a this is something that, that they can pursue and maybe want to learn more. Uh, or maybe it can help them parang be aided in terms of um, ano ba to? worthwhile ba siyang i-pursue? And then kapag decision, pwedeng minug-move mo sila para, para mag-ano ka, um, mag-take ng action. So, ang gagawin ko rin dito, uh, so, imbis na social media post, siguro, papalitan ko rin to. So, question, questions, kapos, activities, Ayan. So, may questions ako at saka may activities. So, so let's say we're talking about anibawa, we're talking about April. Ano lang? April 2018. Okay. Kailan ba ang Monday ng April 2018? So, let's say ang purpose natin dito is gagawa tayo ng social media calendar na magsisimula ngayong April 2018. Um, although technically, parang ginagawa ko na siya, although mas ano siya, no? So, let's say April 1 starts on a Sunday. So, ito yung parang pinaka-April 1 natin. So, ano yung mga gusto natin gawin in this process? So, pwede natin sabihin na, okay, so I'm gonna have, parang bang, meron akong questions. Okay, so, so, so may period na may questions ako. Oops. Okay, questions. So when when do I post uh, questions? Okay, so maybe ang gagawin ko sa kanya. Sorry ah, parang dahil ginagawa natin to ngayon from scratch. Kung bagas parang sino sort out ko rin yung aking ano ideas. So hindi personal leadership question. Now, normally, you want, bakit, bakit gano'n, bakit part ng campaign? Kasi minsan, kapag gumagawa ka ng campaign, hindi naman necessarily na kailangan tuwing nagpo-post ka, nagbibenta ka, no? Pwedeng nag-aano ka, nag, sas, na, the intention is to spark an interaction. So, halimbawa, gagawa ko ng content repository. So, halimbawa, ang gagawin ko ay personal leadership questions, no? Tapos siguro dito, wala tayong link. Okay? Tapos, ang gagawin natin, um, ang title natin dito, so let's say, you only get answers to the questions you ask. Okay? Sabi nga nila, pag hindi ka nagtatanong, hindi mo alam ang sagot. Kaya minsan, kailangan nagtatanong ka. <laughs> Parang love lang yan ba? Para bang imbis na sinesecond guess mo kung talagang type ka ba ng person o hindi, might as well ask, no? So, so pwedeng, um, uh, ano siya, touch siya. So, so, ano yung question? Okay, so ano yung question natin? What questions were you um, afraid to ask? But us anyway. And what gave you the courage to ask that question? Um, of course, in my network, uh, hindi naman lahat pala sagot ng tanong. Pero kung tutuusin naman, medyo siniswerte ako. May mga tao naman na hindi, hindi takot mag, 
magtanong, no? So, halimbawa, hindi ka naman takot magtanong. So, so hinaya ako na para kung game naman siya magtanong, hindi eh, okay lang, di ba? Tapos dito, lagi ko siguro link. Okay. For some reason, parang hindi nagko-cooperate ng ganun ang keyboard ko. Okay. So, ito walang link, no? Ito, paano ko ba matatanggal ng link nito? Ayan. Ayan. Ay, salamat. Ayan. So, you only get answers to the question you ask. What questions were you afraid to ask but ask anyway? And what gave you the courage to ask question? And then, maybe um, you can also do a follow-up question, which is, what question do you regret not asking? Um, and what stopped you? So, ang purpose nito is to foster uh, interaction. So, that is an example of a question. So, ibig sabihin, pwede ako magkaroon ng bank, mag-bank ng question. Kasi normally, when people talk about leadership, alimbawa, like in my case, since I have a website that is now really positioned on leadership, um, if I will do what other uh, leadership persons are doing over the internet as they try to position themselves, usually the common way of positioning is by sharing quotes, sharing insights, uh, sharing thought leadership. Um, among others. However, I know that I'm more of a listener. So, kung listener ako, then mas, it, mas itatap ko yung natural advantage ko, which is more of um, really letting the person talk rather than me para bang um, having the spotlight, no? So, parang mas gusto ko na yung audience ang, may, ang merong spotlight. So, the question there is, how often do I want to ask this question? So, that's something that I need to consider. So, maybe my personal leadership questions can be, can take place on a Sunday. Alright? So, this is a, so this is a sample. So, pag tiyanong mo, uh, bakit Sunday? Teka. So, 1, 8, 15, 22, Okay, pwede pa rito. 29. Okay, so that's my personal leadership question, uh, Sunday. So, uh, maybe at this time also, I want to make sure that I make time to answer queries. So, I will make that as part of my uh, daily activity. Kasi minsan talaga hindi mo siya nagagawa. So, nilagay ko siya dyan. So, that's part of the daily um, activity. So, kung, kung ikaw, meron kang social media person, uh, then dapat, meron siyang report. Kung wala siyang sin sinagot na query, eh di, ano yung sabihin, ba't wala nag inquire no? So, it's also a reflection of baka kulang din yung uh, social media activities. Okay? And then, maybe, uh, I would also want to do um, Siguro rather than email follow through. So let's say um, follow through. Siguro wag na follow through ang gawin natin dyan. Gawin na lang natin yung booking. Okay. Uh, pag sinabi kong booking, ayan na yung nabubuka kong mag-talk or nabubuka kong na-invite na ako mag-facilitate ngayon ng leadership game. So let's say tonight I'm gonna have um, a leadership game, although I started now integrating the leadership game in my programs as well. Although bookings can happen at any time, so pwede sabihin natin na objective natin kung nag-social media campaign ka, dapat, kasama sa ginagawa mo, nagkakaroon ka ng booking, okay? Alright? So, kung ikaw, freelancer ka, um, yung social media calendar mo, it can be a combination of the things that you post and other things that you do, okay? Um, pero kung micro and small, medium enterprise ka, it, it can be a combination of both. Pero kung talagang social media lang ginagawa mo, 
at taga-post lang ang ginagawa mo, then pwede ka mag-stick to that. No? And then, uh, maglalagay ako ng... Um, maglalagay tayo dito ng... Uh, story. Okay? So, pag sinabi natin leadership game adult, so, so, ang gagawin ko na lang dito... Uh, LGA story na lang siya. So, pag sinabing LGA story, it can be, di ba, misa na nagpo-post tayo ng, oh, I'm excited to integrate this. Oh, I'm do I'm here now. Kapos, uh, I integrated the topic. So, that is an example of an LGA story. So, let's say, an LGA story will happen on a Monday. Alright? Monday. So, my LGA stories are on a Monday. Okay. So, although hindi naman siya dapat ganito ka-stringent, mas maganda kung merong flexibility. Pero for the sake of this exercise, ginawa ko siyang ganyan. No? And then, let's say, um, gagawa tayo ng... Pag may nagtatanong, paano kung halimbawa yung product na binibenta mo o yung service na binibenta mo, may promotional video. Mag-share ka rin ba ng promotional video? Actually, that's something to think about. Pero iniisip ko kasi, kapag nag-share ka na ng promotional video, um, ang worry ko doon, baka hard sell na siya masyado. Although kung tutusin, meron siyang promotional videos, parang um, it's a way of uh, pitching the game and and letting people know how can they benefit from the game. Kaso ang worry ko, baka pag yun na yung ginawa ko, uh, baka magmukha na siyang binibent. Parang hina-hard sell na siya. I am, hindi ako gano'ng convinced sa pag-hard sell. Okay? So anyway, here's another example. Uh, let's say, di ba kanina meron tayong personal leadership question. So let's say dito naman, nagawa tayo ng leader's question. So, so let's say, palitan natin itong legend na to. Um, gawin na lang natin siyang leader's question. Okay. So, sa so leader's question, so maybe Wednesday is my leader's questions day. Or, baka, baka too soon yata in leader's question. Iniisip ko, baka... Baka instead na leader's question, I'll be better off giving an accolade. Accolade na lang. Okay? So, accolade. So, palitan natin siya. Gawin natin siya. Tama ba yung spelling ko? Accolade. Okay. So, accolade. I hope I spelled it right. Uh, pag sinabi natin, my intention, pag sinabi kong accolade is uh, parang celebrate or to recognize. So, para hindi naman puro questions lang. So, maglagay tayo ng accolade. Okay? So, pupunta tayo ngayon sa content repository. Tapos, lalagay natin dito, accolade. Ah, parang hindi ako comfortable kung tama ba yung ginawa kong spelling. So, siguro gawin ito. Wagin na lang natin siya recognition. Baka mamay may makareview ng video at i-correct pa ako dyan. <laughs> recognition. Alright. So, recognition. Alright. So, of course, if you have questions at any time, kung paano natin, yung process na ginagawa natin ngayon, um, feel free to chime in. I'm curious on how you work on your social media calendar and scheduling. I know that this can also look so ideal. Parang in the real world, baka hindi naman talaga ganito yung nangyayari. Pero, possible din naman, especially kung magiging organized ka on how you're gonna do it. No? So, um, so may nilagay na tayo dyan. And then, sino pa ba? Um, okay, so magpakita tayo ng sample na recognition content. So, ano yung ating ano yung ating recognition content? So, the idea 
the idea with all the content is parang for a person. Parang, parang yung, kung ano yung nangyayari sa game, parang pinaparamdam mo how it happens on social media. No? So, let's, let's do this. So, the law of sacrifice. A leader must give up to go up. Okay? And then, yung content natin says, um, um, give this or tag a friend. Tag a friend who is most willing to try new things in order to learn from others or their experiences. Experiences. Okay. So, para ang idea dun sa accolade is that, ano siya, graphic siya, no? Recognition. So, normally graphic siya na para may ipaparecognize kang friend. Okay. Para bang... Do you, know, do you have a friend na most willing to try new things in order to learn from others or their experience? So, parang itatag mo siya, para i-recognize mo siya for being that, for being that kind of person. So, so in a sense, parang pinapaspread mo yung love around, no? So, so yun yung idea sa kanya, okay? So, it's a recognition graphic, okay? So, recognition graphic siya. Okay, so, so ang ginawa natin ngayon, gumawa na tayo ng, so meron na tayong awareness, meron tayong uh, consideration, at meron tayong, so ngayon, gagawa na tayo ng decision. So what is a, a decision post? So a decision post is parang nagpipitch ka na. So pwede pumasok yung idea na, oh, di kung meron kang, yeah, may video ka, o kaya you want to invite people to an activity, then invite them to an activity so para to let them experience it or or parang magkaroon sila ng exposure no so ang gagawin natin magpapasok tayo ulit ng legend so baka dito tawagin na natin tong ano event na okay although kung tutusin yung game pwede rin yung online eh so, event invite, event invite. Now, kung medyo aggressive ka, pwedeng yung uh, three types of posts, like a personal leadership question, the LGA story, a recognition, can all happen in a day. No, Possible siya. Pero, uh, you just have to be a little bit realistic about it. Kasi, syempre, uh, hindi naman lahat na nadalan mo lang sa pagpupose. Eh. So, pwedeng meron ka rin mga dapat ibang activities na ginagawa. Kaya, ihahabuli mo siya dun sa iba, no? Para, ma, ano mo, um, mabalance mo. Including other stuff that you need to do. That includes working on your website, working on your pages, working on your content. So, hindi naman pwedeng puro posting ka lang ng posting sa social media. So, here, so, so far, we have four different, four different type of posts. So, a, a question, a story that, that can include me doing a session in one of the locations. Although, kung marami na akong session, medyo dumadami rin yung aking LGA story. Kasi, ano to, as the opportunity arises, pwedeng yung LGA story ko mas marami. So, halimbawa, yung LGA story ko happens uh, three times a week, which is possible, no? So, pwedeng ganun siya, no? So, halimbawa, ito, sample to. Okay? And then, yung ibang araw, pwede mong ulitin or pwede kang maghanap ng ibang klaseng topic na na pwedeng anuhan mo. Um, pwedeng yun na maging base mo. Pero napansin ko, as much as possible, don't overuse something. 
like kalimbawa yung question hindi mo pwedeng parang i-overuse yung question kasi kung wala kang ginawa kundi magtanong na magtanong pag tagapag ang magsasabi rin ng tao no um, maybe at some point you might want to express your opinion also which you can do rarely para it, it increases the value rather than you doing it so often na to the point na parang alam nila na ah palagi naman niyang ganyan eh no so pwedeng iba, ibahin mo yung approach mo or technique mo okay um but but let's say for the sake of discussion meron din tayong mga video story okay uh, again in my okay so mga ano uh, blog post na lang so let's say meron akong blog post so pwede may blog post sharing din ako so let's say dito blog post so pwede on Thursday natin is blog post Thursday blog post Thursday can be in the form of uh, new learning videos as well okay so kung blog post naman yan pwede nakalagay yan dito blog post Actually, marami naman ako nakabang kong blog post. I mean, naka, naka-publish na. And there's nothing wrong in promoting them again. So, let's say, meron ako naka-blog post. Uh, let's say, they matters. Becoming a person. So, yung pagkakaroon ng repository, uh, ang intention mo dyan is para magkaroon ka ng flex- flexibility kung ano yung ipopost mo. No? So, um, sige. Lagay muna tayo para i-aan natin siya. Um, okay, sige. For the sake of discussion, yun lang muna. Now, kung hapansin nyo, meron din dito Twitter updates, Facebook updates, LinkedIn updates, Instagram updates, Pinterest updates, Google updates. Meron pa ba? at uh, kung ano-ano pa, no? So, for the meantime, maglalagay tayo ng Twitter updates. Tawin natin yung sample na nandito. Okay. Tapos, ang lalagay natin ngayon sa campaign natin ay uh, April 1, 2018. Tapos depende dito kung how often ka pa nagpo-post. So let's say hindi naman talaga tayo ganun ka ano mag-post, no? Pero kung talagang very aggressive ka sa pagsosocial media post mo, then pwede mo siyang lagyan ng schedule. Um, kaya lang nakakatulong yung gumagawa ka ng ganito. Uh, nakakatulong siya especially if, you, if your social media activities um, have to be approved by someone. No? Iba yung format ng kanyang ano. naka-UK format pala siya rather than US format. So, in this format, um, pinaplan mo na kung ano yung mga gusto mong i-post ahead of time. So, di ba minsan sabihin mo, oh, may Twitter ako eh, kaso napapabayaan ko na siya. So, dito, parang sinisigurado mo na wala ka man neglect kasi talagang pinaplano mo na yung mga activities mo. So, halimbawa, gusto kong gawin itong uh, Twitter, itong update na ginawa ko kanina. Diba, sabi natin, meron tayong you only get oh, itong you only get you only get answers to the questions you ask. So, let's say, yan yung aking Twitter update. So, yan siya. And then maybe, I might repeat it again and say it again. So, Monday, maybe I'll say it again on a Wednesday. 
and then maybe I'll say it again on Friday. Kasi hindi naman pwedeng one time mo lang siya ipopost. Sometimes you have to repeat. Kasi, di ba, hindi naman, hindi naman lahat ng tao nakalag in at that time. So, minsan okay lang na ni-repost mo siya ulit. No? Um, although hindi pa to yung exact message, pero may, may, ano na siya, may placement na siya. No? So, pwede sabihin natin, if fine tune pa natin siya. And then, kanina binanggit din natin yung graphic. So, when do we want to post the graphic? So, sa Twitter, so sabihin natin, uh, I want to post a graphic on a Tuesday. Oop. Ang dami na na. So, let's say, punta tayo dito. So, let's say, lagyan natin siya sa Tuesday. And then, maybe, I'll do it again on a Thursday. Okay, maybe a different, bar slight variation, maybe color, pero it mo will more or less say, have the same message. Kasi supposedly graphic siya, di ba? It's a recognition graphic. And then, um, naglagay din tayo ng blog post. Although, dun sa calendar natin, meron pa tayong ibang activity dun sa calendar natin, which is the LGA story, no? So, since may LGA story tayo, uh, pwede rin ako maglagay ng LGA story. So, yung LGA story ko um, can be more often or it can be spread out. No? So, pwede sabihin natin na yung LGA story natin is every, ano siya. So, in-spread out din natin siya. Uh, so, pamisa pa may nagtatanong na yung story mo ba sa Facebook, kailangan nakareplicate din sa Twitter or LinkedIn, what have you. I guess it depends where your contacts are. So, like kalimbawa sa akin, uh, I could say that my biggest connections are on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook. So, definitely, it makes sense na nagpo-post ako on the three platforms. But kahit na konti yung contacts mo sa platform na yun, kung nakikita mo naman na nakakapag-engage ka at lumalaki pa unti-unti yung following mo, then it makes also sense na improve mo yung iyong uh, traction dun sa community na yun, no? So, April 3... Okay. Ayusin ko lang to ah. Number four. Um, of course, you can play around with the time. Actually, I like posting at different times. Kasi gaya sa akin na medyo mag magulo minsan yung oras, minsan nakakapag-post na lang ako once a day, misa nga may araw pa akong hindi nakakapag-post, I would like to also assume na yung audience ko possible na busy rin, na hindi naman sila yung laging nakatambay lang para magbasa sa social media. So, hindi na ako ganun ka gangho na, oh, kailangan lagi. Mas gusto ko yung meron kang routine na ginagawa where social media is just one of the routines that you do, no? Rather than the only thing that you do. Kaya nga nilagay natin dyan yung answer queries and follow through, okay? So, siguro pagdating dun sa answer queries, pwede rin natin siyang, wala, assume naman natin na mag-answer tayo ng queries, eh. So, hindi na natin siya kinakailangan ilagay dun sa updates dyan. Okay. So, ito. Ready din natin siya dyan. So, naglagay na tayo ng question. Naglagay na tayo ng question. So, ano na tayo? Uh, blog post. So, let's say yung blog post natin for the week uh, focuses on today matters. 
So, kung yun ang focus natin, which is today matters, pwede yun ang ilalagay ko rito. Kung siya ang focus ko for that week. Okay. And then, um, I can also do the same plan for the Facebook updates. So, dun sa Facebook updates, uh, pwede rin tayo maglagay ng some sort of a plan for, for this to work, no? So, balikan ko lang yung aking mga dates dito para hindi niya tayo pa ulit, -ulit. So, ganun ulit. No? So, work out ko na naman ulit yung calendar ko. Uh, although sa Twitter ko, para medyo nag-iba-iba yung calendar. Pero, yung kung paano siya lalabas sa Facebook, yan na yung ipa-plot ko rito yung execution niya. Kung paano siya lalabas sa Facebook, paano siya lalabas sa LinkedIn, no? kung paano ko siya uh, isa-schedule. Okay? So, that's the idea there. Now, when it comes to the actual scheduling itself, there are many ways that you can go about it. So, for example, um, punta tayo sa, saan ba tayo pupunta? So, halimbawa, pupunta tayo dito sa, sa isa sa mga pages. Pwede kang gumawa nung tinatawag nating um, scheduled post. So, halimbawa, yung topic na naisip natin kanina sa ating content repository, you only get answers to the question you ask. So, pwedeng yun ang ipopost natin dito. So, pwedeng simple plain, plain text lang, lang siya or pwedeng mas paglaruan ko tong topic na to at mas buuin ko yung topic. Pwede ko nga palakihin pa tong topic na to kung gusto ko. Kung gusto ko. Pero let's say, um, gusto ko siyang schedule So, pwede, pwede ko na siyang pag-decidean kung kailan ko siya gustong lumabas. Okay, so let's say gusto ko siya lumabas April 1 pa. Kasi parang pinaplano ko yung campaign ko for next month. Pero pwede ngayon pa lang, unti-unti ko na siyang ginagawa. Kaysa na maisang upuan, ilatag ko siya lahat. Especially for MSMEs na wala namang time na gawin siya lahat in one sitting. Pwede unti-unti mong gawin. Like kalimbawa, March pa lang ngayon. Yung gawin mong, habang nagre-regular post ka, pag-isipan mo na kung ano yung magiging post mo next month. Parang lalo na if you want to plan things ahead, no? So, pwedeng ito, imbis na sabihin ko kailan lumabas ka agad siya ngayon, pwedeng next month na siya lalabas. Bakit? Para may time pa akong improvein to. Kasi ngayon, nilagyan ko lang siya ng placeholder. Technically, ang tawag ko rito sa content na to, placeholder content yan. Kasi hindi naman ako makukontento dapat na ganyan lang yan. Kailangan mas i-effort ko pa na mag-personalize siya, mas gumanda pa siya. So, I am scheduling it ahead, pero for the purpose of, I can still modify it um, and uh, work on it, no? Lalo na kapag malapit na siya. So, let's see. Sabi natin, lalabas siya ng April 1. Okay? So, schedule. So, sa April 1 pa siya lalabas. Okay. Now, pagdating ng April 1, kung gusto ko pang i-improve yung content niya, pwede ko pa siyang i- pwede ko pa naman siya yata i-edit. Okay. So, pwede natin siya i-edit. Yan. So, kung gusto ko siyang biglang later on lagyan ng graphic, no? pwede ko na siyang lagyan uh, para mas mag-personalize pa yung content. So, para mas may, ano siya, may element of, uh, 
kung gusto ko siyang lagyan ng konting drama o kung effect para mas makonvey ko pa yung thought or yung idea, pwede ko pa siyang i-modify at that time. So this is how you can schedule posts on Facebook. On Twitter, there are a lot of tools that you can use to schedule your posts, no? Uh, but one of the one of the popular ones are the likes of Hootsuite and Buffer. So halimbawa, when you access platforms like I tawag ba yun ako Buffer. Yeah, see si Buffer.com. It's a it allows you to manage your social media accounts. Yeah, so pwede ka na mag-schedule ng post. Huh? So, pwede ko siyang i-add to queue. Um, pwede rin ako mag-add ng image. Or, yan, pwede rin ako maglagay kung anong schedule siya lalabas. So, let's say gusto ko siya lumabas mga 8 to 2 pa. Alright? Although, di ko alam kung nilagay, may nilagay na tayo sa calendar, no? Pero, for the sake of discussion, yan, pwede ka mag-plot ng schedule sa kanya. Schedule. So, ayun. Great. The post has been scheduled. So, dito, uh, marami kang actually pwede i-connect na social media platforms. So, pwede mo i-connect yung LinkedIn mo. Um, you can also link in your link your Facebook profile, no? You can also link your LinkedIn page, Google Plus, and uh, Pinterest. Para kung gusto mo na ito na lang yung ginagamit mo pang administer, para imbis na pupunta ka pa sa mga social media channels kapos dun mo ina administer, pwede dito na lang. So this is one way of doing it. Although dun sa aking CRM, yung Nimble, the one that I showed you last time, pwede rin ako mag-schedule post doon. Pero I recognize na hindi lahat ng tao mayroong ganun platform. So one of the tools that you can use for this purpose is Buffer. Um, teka, ito nga tayo yung Twitter. Sa Twitter... So, pwede ka palang mag, ano, multiple tweets. Pero wala eh. Wala dito yung scheduling. No? And then, pagdating naman sa LinkedIn, si LinkedIn by default, wala siyang default na scheduling. So, if you want to use some form of scheduling, um, then I would suggest that you explore yung tool na buffer for that purpose. Kasi dito, kapag halimbawang naglagay ka na ng post, bawa ganyan. Um, yung post settings niya, kung kanino mo lang magpapapakita yung post mo eh. Pero wala pa siyang ability na makakapag-schedule ng post mo. So if you want to schedule your post, then I would suggest exploring platforms like Buffer that can allow you uh, to do so. No? Uh, but definitely sa mga students ko, especially for those who got the chance to participate in our e-commerce and digital marketing mentoring program for MSMEs, face-to-face -face classes, uh, niya-require ko talaga yung three posts per day, lalo na kapag bago yung brand. Siguro kapag medyo matagal na yung brand mo, pwede ka nang mas maging relax sa mga pagpo-post mo kasi mas nakapokus ka na sa increase and post engagement. Pero kapag bago ka, nandun yung need for you to be more aggressive in terms of um, in terms of Yan, yung mga question, yung mga content na pwede mo i-post. Kasi, nag-try ka pang mag-build ng iyong uh, brand identity, kumbaga. Kaya, what, that is what I would suggest, no? Talagang mas mag-effort pa na, na ano, mas maging engaging. At uh, lalo na kung nagpapakilala pa tayo sa ating brand. Okay? Now, another way is uh, pwede rin tayo mag-post ng, let's say, gusto natin maglagay ng discussion. Pagkita natin itong callback. Tawagin natin siyang discussion. Okay. So, para lang may pandagdag tayo ng laman. So, 
Maglagay tayo ng LGA. So, we'll say discussion. Discussion. So, so, yung kanina, questions lang yon Kasi yung question, people are just answering it amongst themselves, no? Pero kapag discussion, uh, mas ine-encourage mo that your audience will interact with each other. So, parang that's the idea there, no? So, let's say, maging tayo dito ng discussion. LG story, buba natin dito. So, maglagay tayo ng sample content, which is discussion. Okay? So, let's say discussion natin. Anyone can steer the ship, but it takes a leader to chart the course. Okay, so parang yan yung premise. And then, the question. What new challenges do you think your group will face in the next three to six months? So if I'm targeting corporates or organization, so pwedeng sabihin ko, imbis na your group, pwedeng gawin ko your organization. So kanina kasi, parang it's more of them as individuals or dito, mas nakafocus na sa company. Or pwede mong lagay, if I'm targeting MSMEs, pwedeng your business para mas ano, mas clear kung sino yung kausap ko. No? What new challenges do you think your business will face in the next six months? So, yun yung, yun yung sample ng discussion. So, kailangan, kung marami akong pinaplaang na discussion, then kailangan i-prepare ko siya as a topic. Pero ang tanong nga lang doon, how often ko siya i-ask na topic? Kasi baka naman, hindi rin naman comfortable yung tao to really talk about them and um, so, baka hindi ko kailangan ganun ka-aggressive ang discussion. Maybe discussion is something that can only happen um, once a week. Okay? So, that is a sample way of going about it. So, pagdating dito sa content repository, so, pwede kong sabihin na, oh, sige, discussion yan. Now, kung halimbawang, pwede bang... Kung alam mo na yung type of content mo, pwede bang pagdating doon sa mga Twitter updates, hindi necessarily yung specific ang nakalagay. Possible naman na hindi. Kaya lang, pag ganun, parang hindi ka pa rin talaga nagpo-plan. Pero kung, kung mas naka-detailed ka, naka-plot ka, then pwede itong ginawa mo dito, although ito masyado nga lang colorful, <laughs> pwede print mo na siya, tapos check mo na lang, nagawa ko ba ito today? Na-publish ko ba ito today? Kamusta yung response? Am I getting the traction that I'm looking for among others? Normally, sa mga students, kapag nagsasubmit sila ng campaign report nila, ang una kong chinecheck, ano ulit yung itsura ng plan? Ano yung report? Ano yung actual output? Yung mga pinagpo-post nila per day? And then I look at the results. And so far, from my experience with MSMEs and freelancers doon sa mga na-train ko sa Rural Impact Sourcing Technical Training at saka sa e-commerce and digital marketing mentoring program for MSMEs in uh, Cebu and Bohol. Um, so may, may, I think I have enough proof. No? May apat na batches na ako and 24 batches for freelancers na nag-work yung nagpa-plan ka talaga. You, schedule, you create your content ahead and then you schedule it. Uh, kapag ginawa mo yon, then hindi ka nagre-rely on the availability of your schedule para lang makagawa ka ng content. So kung nagawa mo na yan, tapos nakakapag-schedule ka ahead, lalo na kung mas makakapag-plan ka ahead, then pwede yung pagdating ng April, let's say, pinlano ko na to, no? tapos nagsimula na akong maglagay ng content. Then pagdating ng April, lumalabas na lang yung post ko. I can now focus on answer queries, booking, 
answer queries, nothing. Yun na lang ang, yun na lang ang tinutukan ko. Rather than mag-iisip pa ako, anong ipopost ko for today? Wala pang laman yung ano ko. No? So, at least mag-iiba na ako ng aking uh, targeting, uh, mag-iiba ako ng, hindi na ako mag-focus sa, hindi na ako mag-iisip, may ipopost ba ako ngayon? So, kung halimbawa ang busy rin ako, hindi rin ako mag-worry. Nako, busy ako, hindi ako makapag-post. Yun yung maganda na talagang pinaplot mo siya ahead. Okay? I think we have a question. Um, Ramil, actually, makakakuha kayo nito sa HubSpot. So, punta lang kayo sa... I'm gonna give you the link. Punta tayo sa social media calendar. HubSpot. I'll give you the link now. Ito. Ito siya. So, you can download the social media calendar here. Ito yung pinaka-paborito ko sa lahat ng aking mga social media calendar na nagamit. Maraming klaseng social media calendars out there. Um, but for me, this is the one na parang pinaka nagamay ko sa lahat. At saka, sa mga studyante ko, when they work on this, alam ko nahihirapan sila. Kasi lalo na kapag ni-require ko sila na hindi lang gawin tong calendar na to. Kasi to, this is the easy part. Although mukha na rin siyang mahirap, no? Pero this is the easy part. Pero napansin nyo, di ba meron sana akong original na keys na idea. Pero nung habang pinifilapan ko siya, nagbabago na na nagbabago yung iniisip ko. So, technically, this is the easy part. Ang pinaka mahirap, yung gagawin mo na yung content repository. The content repository is the hardest. And then, plotting it out. Yung scheduling on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, madali yan. Yung pag-generate ng content ang mahirap. Pero ang suggestion ko, before you generate the content, look at your calendar. Ano yung nakikita mong magiging execution mo? So, for example, yung event ko, event invite ko, nilagay kong every Wednesday. Maybe instead of every Wednesday, gagawin ko siyang Saturday. Wednesday and Saturday. Huwag ako makontento na Wednesday lang kasi pag Saturday, pwede mas relax din yung aking target audience. And then, um, pagdating sa content repository, pwede kong ilagay dito ano yung aking event invite. So, pwede ko sabihin na leadership game for sales professional. Team communication. Okay. So, pwedeng yun ang aking i-invite in. So, yun ang aking event invite. Kasi normally, yung mga pinapakita ko ngayon sa social media channel ko are the teen edition and the adult edition. Yung sales professional and teen communication edition are the only things that an executive are games that only an executive director can do. So, pwedeng yun ang aking event invite. So, it's just a matter of deciding kung kailan ko siya ipoplot sa aking calendar. So, kung halimbawa, nilagay ko dito every Wednesday and Saturday siya, pwede yung Wednesday and Saturday ko pang LinkedIn yon o pang Facebook yon o pwede across the social media channels na sa akin yun. So, kung halimbawa sinabi kong every Wednesday and Saturday siya, then nilagay ko dyan Wednesday and Saturday. Okay? Wednesday and Saturday. Maybe I'll just uh, schedule it at different times. No? Wednesday and Saturday. All right. Do we have questions at this point? Doon sa process. 
Do you have a question on the process that I am sharing here? Uh, possible then na uh, maglaro yung schedule mo. Like halimbawa, eh, kung puro Wednesday and Saturday, parang lahat ng channels mo, nagpipitch ka. Pwede sa Facebook, Wednesday and Saturday ang pitching mo, but maybe sa LinkedIn, you wanna do it on a Monday and Friday. That is, a, that is actually possible. Wala namang ano rin eh. Then, pwede gawin mong basis ng monthly pag planning calendar mo. You can create three copies of the calendar. So, ibig sabihin, um, itong calendar na to, hindi to yung, hindi siya general calendar in a sense na, ay, anong ginagawa ko? Hindi siya general calendar in a sense na, ano siya, um, pang, pang lahat ng social media sites. So, pwede kong sabihin na April 2018, pero pwede kong sabihin, ano to, um, Facebook, Then, I can copy the entire calendar and paste it. Tapos, pwede akong gumawa na ito. Twitter, ito, LinkedIn. Kung talagang um, gusto ko may konting variation imbis na pare-pareho sila ng laman. No? So, there are a lot of ways that you can go about it para mas maging flexible ka sa magiging content mo. Now, if the question is, do you have to work on a Sunday? It's up to you. Pero ako kasi sa experience ko, um, meron naman talaga mga... Um, mas nag-interact ko na Sunday. So, I guess it depends on your audience kung ano ba yung behavior ng iyong audience. Alright? So, I hope you learned a lot from this session on how to create your social media calendar and scheduling with this example. I hope you'll be able to use it in your adventure for social media in terms of creating your calendar and your schedule. Thank you very much.